This is another six-player fixed card play friends game which is being played with five grandmasters who are black, purple, blue and yellow, and one expert ranked player who is white. From my current setup it seems what I cannot really go for any of the continents, so I think I'm just going to consolidate my troops in Asia, and then I will just continue waiting if I see any opportunities. As for example the purple player might decide to capture Australia way too early wasting a lot of troops so then with me having a good set at the right time I could potentially take it from him. And then even though there are a bunch of other players troops in Europe and Africa, I might still get an opportunity to go for one of them somehow? No idea, but we are going to see how it is. For now I just made some allies, well only one ally. The purple player sent me an alliance request which I accepted, and then when it comes to white, it seemed what it said how about an alliance for now, but when I clicked on this chat head, there were no requests anymore, so I'm not sure what happened but I decided to send the white player an alliance request by myself. But yeah, it seems the connection issues have happened for the white player, so this is why I wasn't able to see his alliance request anymore. But oh well. One fewer opponent in the game, with the white player becoming a bot, it might give me an opportunity to go for some continent, or if not, then I think at the very least some players might get prevented from capturing some continents themselves, so then my situation might not look as bad anymore if a bunch of players don't get a continent early. The white player's disconnection seems to give a me a potential opportunity go for Europe. But I think it could still take a while before I could finally capture it, and then when what time comes I'm not even sure if my opponents would even let me hold it with them already being quite stronger, even if they were my allies. Or if I tried capturing Europe very fast, crushing a lot of my troops and barely having any troops left, then I think I would just destroy myself getting eliminated very early. Anyway, what you can see I did is crushed my troops in Australia when I didn't really have to at all, but this is because the purple player is my ally, so I wanted to show some appreciation for him, and hopefully my friendliness and efforts will be appreciated. The purple player will be one of the players who get a continent early, so he could really influence where he will want to use his advantage, on which players he will want to target and suggest to the other continent players to attack them also. So hopefully the purple player appreciates me, though I know that I'm not guaranteed of anything at all. But what I know that I do not have anything to lose anyway, the purple player was going to capture Australia easily anyway, even if I hadn't crushed that small army of my troops, and then I would have been without a continent anyway. So basically the situation would have been the same for me, but risk can be quite a bunch about diplomacy, so if the purple player appreciates me becoming one of the strongest players, then it might help me to survive quite a bit longer or might even get a decent chance. The good news is that I traded in a 10 troop set at 3 cards, so at least as of now I'm safe even not having a continent at all. In the potential danger are those who haven't traded in a 1 sitting with a bunch of cards. So like I wish I could take the white bot out and go for Europe if the black player wipes him out from Africa. But obviously with the white bot being at 4 cards that was very expected for it to trade in a set and this is what happened. So I guess I will struggle to go for Europe for some more time. But maybe it will become worth to take the white bot out once he gets 4 cards, if like of course the bot wastes some of his troops on crushing some smaller armies of other players or if like someone decides to crush some of the bot's troops by himself. Anyway, with the purple player manual rolling the blue player's army, the black player sent me an alliance request saying to attack the blue player as well. And then the purple player by himself told me to attack blue. Though I should not blindly follow them, I should observe the situation and evaluate the possible outcome. Obviously with me being the only one another no continent player I wouldn't weaken him just to end up being another easy player to be taken out next, but the thing is that he is with 4 cards, and it could actually be worth to completely take him out, so not sure what kind of blitz rolls I would get, and then how strong or weak I would look like, but if I keep looking strong enough, then I think I might get a much better position by being able to go for North America. 
so I decided to take that risk and now let's see how vulnerable or strong I'm going to look. And I think I actually like my decision to go for the blue player. I am basically as strong as I was, so now I could just potentially expect to hold North America depending on the other players plans. But I mean with already having the alliance with the purple and black players, I decided to make an alliance with the yellow player as well, sending an alliance request which he very fortunately accepted. I think with me being the North American player the alliance with him is probably the most important the position wise with him being the South American player. And I mean there is still a possibility that someone betrays me and I end up being taken out next anyway, but I mean I would have been taken out anyway if ending up being with no continent at all, so now I just get some chance. I think all in all the players attention might be towards eliminating the white bot right now. And I'm not sure exactly why the black player is saying oops right now, but I think it is because he left 5 troops in the territory of Afghanistan blocking the purple player's army to go taking the white bot out, but the purple player could still crush these troops as long as he wants to. And I think all in all the black player would probably be the most suitable target to focus on next anyway. I mean either him or me, both of our borders are very weak and our opponents could invade us easily as long as they want to. Though the purple player could potentially get trapped in Australia, if like I hold North America, the black player captures Europe, and then the yellow player takes over Africa next to South America. So I would say the yellow player is in the safest situation right now and is the most unlikable person to get eliminated next. I'm saying to the black player to attack my territory if he needs to indicating that he would take over Europe placing his army in Ukraine, so then the yellow player could take over Africa placing his army in the territory of Middle East, so then the ultimate trap for the Australian player would be set up, so we would just need to wait for one more turn before the yellow player does so, as now it is going to be the purple player's turn. But it seems that the black player has disconnected, so in that case I think it would be the best get rid of him, otherwise the game could get quite stalemated with a strong bot in the game. But the purple player already took down the Asian army of the yellow player, and insists me to attack the yellow player as well. And I mean yeah, I kinda forgot to look at the troops counter, as I think I could just eliminate the yellow player, and then still have more troops than the purple player to probably easily win in the end game as well. So it's just unfortunate that it doesn't say that the black player is offline anymore, so I assume he got back, and yeah, he sent me an alliance request, but I think I could just eliminate the yellow player anyway, and guarantee for myself to be in the top 3 situation. And yeah, now let's fortify my troops to Alaska, to prepare for the Australian trap with the black player taking over Europe. Well. Too bad I didn't have enough time to accept the black player's alliance request and he immediately started to attack me once my turn was ended. But maybe the black player didn't want to use the Australian trap strategy with me, or maybe he didn't know what it is, or maybe he attacked me because with me not having enough time to accept his alliance request, he thought that I want to be an enemy for him. Also that's possible that the purple player could be potentially sending the attack requests for both of us to attack each other, or maybe the black player simply attacked me because I was the strongest player. But I think it's quite likely that I didn't accept the alliance request in time, I think either probably that, or he wanted to balance me out by taking South America from me, so we both would get the same continental troop bonus. But unfortunately in this way we cannot really protect each other borders well, and the purple player could invade one of us making that player to betray the other one, so I would prefer if we relocate our troops, and the black player would take over Europe, while give me South America. And this is what I was trying to show to the black player with all of these movements and requests, but I think I really messed it up. But either way it doesn't matter anymore as the black player disconnected again. So it's a two player endgame between me and purple, so just hopefully the black player doesn't reconnect again. But with the purple player attacking me, obviously my plan is clear. I'm not sure why did he unleash my second army, because now he's just completely made sure that I have enough troops to wipe him in a single turnout. But oh no, the black player got back to the game. 
That's so unfortunate, for me, because it was the second time when I was supposed to win with the black player disconnection. But on another hand it's obviously good, that I didn't start attacking purple, as the game would have been given away to the black player. And with already trying to team up with black but not being very successful, I think now I will try to team up with purple. And I mean it really made the sense for me to attack black over purple the position and troop wise as well. As the thing was that the purple player was only with 17 troops army with all of his other territories being made of ones, so I wouldn't have wanted to make the purple player too weak and potentially give black the game. And then the black player had South America with Africa when I didn't have any continent at all. And then I knew that if I hadn't attacked black, then the purple player wouldn't have attacked black either while being quite weaker than me. So this is how it was back then, but now looking to the troops counter I saw that the purple player was the strongest. So then I wouldn't have to attack neither purple nor black, I decided to specially mess up on purpose, I'm not sure if it looked believable or not. But that doesn't matter, as the main point was to let them over attack each other, so with them not taking into account that I have even 5 cards, I could potentially very easily win. But actually it didn't go that well like I expected. As the black player just captured a few territories of the purple player, and the purple player was capturing the territories of the black player as well, but like not weakening his main army. But what went well and what I didn't expect, is that the purple player would end up blocking his biggest army in Australia. So I thought it still gave me a risky chance to take the black player out, so I just wasn't not sure how good or bad it is. I wasn't sure if I was going to take the advantage over the purple player or not. But with me taking that risk to find out, now we are going to see how it is. I mean in the three player end games when I get into the situations like these, I was usually passing the opportunities of really being afraid to fail, and then always wondering how the games would have gone if, if I had taken them, so I thought that was finally the time for me to see. And another thing is that I didn't really want for the game to stalemate and potentially last for hours if getting to a very balanced situation again. What wasn't that good is that I only lost 3 troops fewer when crushing the black player's army. And then that the purple player got so lucky to not only invade Africa but South America as well, he wasn't supposed to invade South America at all. But anyway, at the end it's probably a small thing, the bad thing is that while we have around the same number of troops, the purple player has one big army in comparison with my one troop territories, which he is going to take losing no troops. I think with him successfully taking over Australia, I think he has quite more chances to win over me now unfortunately. But I mean let's try doing our best. Too bad I lost that 3 versus 2, but probably it's not much impactful. The thing is that while I am able to invade the purple player into all his continents this turn, the next turn with him trading in a set he will probably be able to hold something, so that doesn't really look promising to me. But alright, that was unexpected, it actually flips the table around, now I'm the one who is supposed to have an advantage and very likely win, but maybe not necessarily, we are going to see. But that was so, so unfortunate for the purple player to not have a set at 4 cards for sure. As actually now I like my position much much more. But alright, the purple player successfully captured Australia. And now South America as well. So while the purple player didn't have that much luck with the cards, I see that he has a really good luck with the blitz rolls for sure. So that made the things quite much more complicated for me. I really thought that the game was over but it isn't. Luckily I have a 10 troop set at 4 cards, and I think this is where I make the final blow in which the situation isn't recoverable anymore for the purple player. The purple player has a set though and takes over Australia, but I've got even 8 troops, so the situation is completely lost for the purple player. So let's just wipe the purple player out. I've got a set at 3 cards, but unfortunately it seems it will still take one more turn before the game is finally over. But no worries with me winning at all. That's a GG.